Hi. We are. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I'd like to talk about uh, alignment. It's all we ever so, talk about. Yeah, I know. And yeah, my life is great. I have plenty of time and plenty of work and everything flows. And there are some times when I really feel such an alignment that it's different than the, than the everyday feeling, although I'm always feeling good. You know what that is? You've allowed, for whatever reason, enough momentum that you've really tuned in to the frequency and the flow of who you are. And in those moments, you are, you are truly seeing the world through the eyes of who you really are. Yeah, and, and that's the, the feeling that I want to have all day, every day. Um, <laughs> Anything well, less than we, that is we know. interesting. We uh, Esther's, been, Esther's been claiming the same. She's been saying she's a vibrational snob because, <laughs> because she likes that feeling. But, but when you think about it, isn't contrast part of what sharpens your appreciation and therefore your enjoyment of things? In other words, when you think about it, when you think about eating a really wonderful meal, Esther and friends, uh, everyone who was helping to set up here, had dinner last night. And at the end, someone said, <laughs> this was just delightful from beginning to end. His, his feeling of satisfaction was so pointed and his degree of appreciation was so rich. And, and Esther was feeling the same thing. They all were. They'd had a really good time. They had a really wonderful meal. And, but if the waiter had come back around and said, all right, now what can I get you? What, I, let, let's start again. <laughs> well, let's eat again. And then again. And then again. And then again. And then again. In other words, you, you... And we're not saying that you want to dip into despair. But there is nothing wrong with moving in that vibration of alignment from faster moving momentum to not so fast moving momentum. In other words, perspective is all a really good thing. Yeah, I, I guess I really like momentum. And so, <laughs> uh, and since it's getting better and better, I think that I want those high flying momentums to get higher. So when it's, it's not so high, but it's you, still very high. But you know what's happening? The reason that we're having this conversation is because you're dipping from that high momentum and that's why we're having this conversation and you're trying to fix that. Uh -huh. Isn't that interesting? Because yeah. we're not having a conversation about the high momentum. We're talking, you're talking yeah, about yeah, the yeah. absence of it. So, so let's skip it. So, th <laughs> yeah. so, there, so there's a... I don't want this conversation so, so, anymore. So let's go to another one. Isn't it interesting? <laughs> yeah. Isn't it in because every subject is really two subjects. What is wanted is on one end of the stick and the absence of it is on the other. Sure. And, and you know what? It's all, all right. We want you to embrace your highs and your lows. We want you to feel good about your positive emotions and your negative emotions. That's really what unconditional love is. Unconditional love is a knowledge that love and alignment and clarity and well-being and thriving and worthiness is who I am. That's just who I am. And nothing, no matter how it appears in this moment, is taking away from who I really am. And of course, I have the ability to look and look and look and look and to experience whatever, whatever it is I'm choosing to look at and experience. But it doesn't take away from who I really am. I am unconditionally solid. That's really what we want you to reach for. I'm unconditionally solid. And of course, you prefer feeling better than not good. Of course you do. That's a given. We just know for sure that when you focus upon how much you like to feel appreciation appreciation will show up more and more and more and more and more and when you are missing it the absence of it shows up more and more and more and more and more law of attraction is just this glorious consistent best friend you've ever had because it never gets squirrely on you it's never arbitrary it's always 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 consistent you can always count on it well isn't that something good to know I get to feel as good as I choose to feel in every moment of my life experience. And the more you care about that and the more you accomplish that, then the easier it is to ride that out. 
Esther woke up this morning. She was just feeling glorious. And she looked out, and the day is all misty. It feels like Thanksgiving. And then she thought, sometimes every other, or we have an open house following the event. But this time, when Esther thought about it, she thought, this isn't a good time for this. She could just feel that the weather wasn't going to hold. They usually hold it out at the property. It's an outside event. And so she just could feel that this didn't feel like the time for that. So she was all lined up with that. She'd done her focus wheels and she was looking forward to seeing all of you and knowing that this was going to be a wonderful dynamic day. It always is, but she loves the richness of this crowd. And then she heard from someone that some people were disappointed that there wasn't going to be an open house and couldn't we just kind of put something together and Esther got all flustered as she got focused upon the disappointment of someone else and then as she was sitting back here getting ready for you she could hear you and and feel you and she thought why in the world would I focus upon anything that would take me from my alignment and the reason is because somebody dished it up and handed it to you in other words, it's like mm -hmm. you feel like you have a responsibility to, to take what people offer to you, but you don't. Your responsibility is to stay in alignment with who you are, no matter what. So we give this to you in a very specific way, because you cannot be a pleaser of others and a maintainer of your alignment at the same time they don't go together because what others think they need from you in order for them to be happy sometimes doesn't have any momentum going for you sometimes it's out of alignment with what your intentions are you see you have to be joyfully selfish you can't be other than, you can't be other than you can't be other than selfish you can't be other than selfish because you cannot perceive outside your perspective of self but you have to just decide that how you feel matters a lot and you have to have this this sort of self policy that says I care so much about you that I'm not going to stand on my head to please you I'm going to keep myself in alignment with who I am so that I have plenty to give you and once once you get that figured out, then, then you're steady. Then you're steady. Oh, you'll have little blips. You'll have little things, little tuning points. But for the most part, you'll be tuned in, tapped in, turned on, just as you, just as you said you would and just as you deserve to be. How many, as far as beliefs, is there, how many core beliefs do people have? Is there a, <laughs> and there, there I am, I'm focused on it again, I get it. Well, let's get back to the really core, 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 core of who you are. Who, from, from the source energy perspective of who you are, you not, so there is, uh, there is not believing, and then there is hoping, and then there is believing, and then there is knowing. Mm. That's sort of the continuum. the continuum of this vibration of belief. So... The source within you knows these things about you. And if you want to talk about core beliefs, mm -hmm. we think these are the beliefs that we would be focused upon. You are worthy beyond description. And you are brilliant beyond description. You are good. You are source. That is your core. Mm -hmm. And every bit of moving from that is a flawed premise and a distortion so there are so many things that humans focus upon out here in the physical world that contradicts their core beliefs now there are many more we can go for it a, a core belief a source energy core 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 belief is that all really is well yeah, yeah. that we are eternal beings so think about how many things that you might stumble across in a day that contradict that knowing that the source within you holds that well-being does abound. Mm -hmm. Well, so 
maybe it would be easier for you to just say, well, I've got one core belief and that's in well-being. Mm -hmm. And hey, anytime I deviate from that, then I get crossways of what the source within me really knows. Mm -hmm. So then you take that knowing that source within you holds, knows, is, and understand that source, inner being, whatever you want to call it, is focused right here out on the leading edge with you, right here in the moment where you're doing whatever it is you're doing with all of that knowing, that core beliefing, mm -hmm. that opinioning, mm -hmm. all of that focused right here with you. And you can tell in every single moment what your deviation of that core is. You can just tell. So we really want to say to you, we don't want to be impertinent, but we sort of kind of do. Yeah. We want to be so blunt. What difference does it make? How many different ways you all have figured out to <laughs> deviate from the core premise of well-being? In other words, because when you start counting them, those are the things that you're counting. There's just a belief in well-being, a knowing in well-being, an expectation of well-being. And you know what? Well-being continues and continues and continues. This Earth spins in its orbit in perfect proximity to other planets. Every now and again, something will happen and Esther and friends will say, oh, wow, can you believe that the law of attraction and the universe is so good that they could provide that kind of rendezvous so that we could have that fun? Esther pulled into the hotel yesterday in her new Denali. And when she pulled in, she was talking to Jerry all the way because she, she and Jerry, they got lost every time they came downtown, every time they came downtown. <laughs> but yesterday she didn't get lost. And she said, you're much better now, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> that broader view thing's really working out. And when she pulled up to the ramp, her odometer read 2222. Mm -hmm. And Esther goes, Wow! Oh, wow! That must have been why I turned over there to throw my trash away so that it would be right at 2222. And we say, That's child's play. We keep your Earth spinning in its orbit and perfect proximity <laughs> with other planets. In other words, do you have any idea how much consciousness and well-being is focused upon all that you are? Find any little piece of anything that feels good and make it your, give it your undivided attention mm -hmm. and call it my core belief for today. Yeah. My core belief for today. Esther has a bumper sticker. It's not a bumper sticker. It's a dash card plaque. Some of you may have them too. And when you look at it, you can't read it because it's all backwards. But when you lay it on your dash, it reflects into the window and it says, things are always working out for me. That's your core belief. Yeah. Things are always working out for me. In what way in this moment can the universe demonstrate to me the goodness that is me, the clarity that is me, the love that is me, the worthiness that is me. And oh, the demonstrations are so powerful, but you all are like little prickly pears that are just sort of holding it off. Well, can't. Uh, well, I picked up this belief when I was in the th second grade and this one in the third grade. And, and my mother never stopped drumming this one into my head. And so, so I'm a broken person, Abraham. I can't accept the perfection that is me quite yet. And we say, well, get on with it, will you? <laughs> Begin looking for the evidence of your well-being. And as you start looking for that, you'll begin to find it mm -hmm. now. Yeah, that was perfect because that's really where I was trying to go. Yeah. And so thank you. We that know. was perfect. Yeah. I am complete. Really good. <laughs> <laughs>